in spirit, nutrition, your brother, your friend, your dietitian back again for another installment. How long should I breastfeed? Let's get it popping. In truth, to keep the answer short, one should breastfeed however long she and the baby feels comfortable to breastfeed. Who am I? I am your brother, your friend, your dietitian. I have experience seeing my mother breastfeed, my younger sister, working in a healthcare setting where I gave breastfeeding education, was trained on breastfeeding, uh, saw my niece get breastfed for two, two years, my little sister get breastfed for three years, and saw hundreds of babies being breastfed um, in my profession. So, again, women should breastfeed however long they feel comfortable with the baby and as long as the baby feels comfortable breastfeeding all right but that is just the background and and i all in all honesty i would i would say that the decision should be made in an informed manner it should be an informed decision meaning you should gain knowledge and information and then afterwards make your ultimate decision so with that being said, I would like to share some information. In America, and you're probably in America right now and watching this video, there is a stigma. Women go out and they breastfeed and they're frowned upon and they're looked at funny. Um, you know, if you breastfeed a baby and it's over, maybe it's infancy, it's, it's uh, no longer a year, maybe it's after a year, people frown upon you and say, why are you feeding that baby for so long? And, why is that baby still on the teat? The baby's too big to be breastfeeding. So there's a lot of negativity surrounding it. However, breastfeeding is one of the most healthy things that a mother can do for her, her infant. And that's the only thing that, that that breast milk is the most unique signature thing that that mother can give to the child. No other being on the planet or in the universe can give the same thing that that mother can give the infant so the mother should appreciate that and she should love the baby and and and, and attempt to give that breast milk regardless of what society is saying so how long and on average in america most moms breastfeed only for six months those are moms that do breastfeed there's hundreds of thousands and millions that don't even breastfeed for medical reasons or for just the fact that they don't want to breastfeed. They believe that their breasts are going to sag. They believe it's going to hurt. They believe that it's unnecessary because they have formula. Different reasons. But of those that breastfeed in America, the average is only for six months. That's a tiny bit of time. It's not enough time. It's recommended by American physicians, uh, international physicians, um, World Health Organization, etc. Organizations such as those that moms breastfeed for the minimum, por lo menos, for one year. One year. On average, internationally, when you go to Cuba, when you go to Mexico, when you go to Ghana, when you go to South Africa, when you go to France, when you go to Spain, when you go to Switzerland, when you go to Czechoslovakia, when you go to Kyrgyzstan, when you go to Japan, when you go to Australia, the average time period for breastfeeding is 2.5 years so it's more than double it's more than triple it's more than four times the amount so the length is much much longer now we see outside of america but so what why should i breastfeed for two and a half years why should i breastfeed for a year why should i even breastfeed for more than six months well breast milk provides perfect nutrition for infants it gets the baby an immune boost in the form of what the liquid gold colostrum secondly it gives it antivirals it gives it anti-cancers it helps prevent childhood and adult or later adulthood uh, obesity it helps with preventing um, sudden infant death syndrome so many different things down the line it helps with that infant as excuse me as well it creates a bond between mother and infant S something even better is that over time the breast milk actually gets better it gets healthier the benefits improve and increase so therefore 
the the percentage of mom the, the percentage of of risk for a mother getting breast cancer down the line the sooner she breastfeeds meaning if she breastfeeds when she's 16 17 18 19 20 21 25 etc earlier and for longer she actually has a lower risk for breast cancer ovarian cancer etc so the sooner you have children and the longer you actually breastfeed the better i'm not saying that you should have children soon i'm just giving the facts so the point is that the longer you breastfeed you have more benefits so the breast milk actually gets richer in nutrients could you believe it and it gets sweeter could you believe it so a mom going for three months cool you did your best but if you can go for six months that's even better a mom going for six months if you can go for 12 months that's even better if you can go for 12 months go for 24 months if you can go for 24 months then you're doing good you can push it further if you want my little sister was three. I remember when she used to breastfeed. She still remembers breastfeeding. So it's a bond thing. You carry the infant. You carry the fetus. You create the child. Ten months. Nine months. You give birth. And guess what? You're saying that the baby is getting babied. And it's going to be spoiled if it's breastfed for too long. That's nonsense. You think your breasts are going to sag? No. That happens with gravity. And it happens over time. It doesn't happen with breastfeeding. So how long should you breastfeed then? At least one year. The benefits are the greatest when it's at one year. Better cognitive development, better eyesight, I mean, uh, 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 ocular development, you know, dealing with the eyes. Um, you know, just overall it helps with the flora and fauna in the GI tract. Flora and fauna are the probiotics, or excuse me, the, 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 um, the basically the bacteria positive bacteria inside the, the the GI tract. The GI tract is the intestines. It, it carries um, it's the large intestines and small intestines. It carries a, a lot of bacteria in there. Some of it good, some of it bad. Breast milk promotes that in there. So the longer you do it, the better. All right? Uh, your brother, your friend, your dietitian. Back again for another installment. If you have any questions, drop them below the video. If not, uh, I appreciate you all for watching. Give yourself permission to live your dream. Peace.